Hey everybody, welcome to the iPhone secrets that save you time video. In this video, I'm going to show you a number of time saving shortcuts and alternate methods to get things done with your iPhone faster, and they might end up even being more convenient. The first shortcut I'm going to show you today is a keyboard shortcut that I thought was really cool. I find this really handy when I need to type in an address. When you're typing on your iPhone and you know you mostly need letters, but may need a couple of numbers, instead of switching back and forth between the alphabet and numerical keyboards, you can press and hold the 123 key and then slide your finger to the desired number and lift to type the number. Doing this will keep the keyboard in the alphabet mode. This also works for typing mathematical equations, like 4 times 4 equals 16, by pressing and holding the number plus equals button when in the numerical keyboard. Plus, you can also do the same thing with the ABC button from the numerical keyboard as well. Since I've learned about this shortcut, I use it all the time. And since we're talking about typing and keyboards, one other tidbit that is more common knowledge but some still don't seem to be aware of is if you have an iPhone 6s or newer, you can 3D touch the keyboard to move the cursor around a paragraph or sentence for precise tracking if you need to edit what you're typing. Like in this example where I just typed the red fox but forgot the E in the, so I can 3D touch the keyboard and move the cursor back. I find this easier than trying to get the cursor there by pointing at the spot, as I can rarely seem to get the cursor exactly where I want it using that method. Next I'd like to share with you a little calculator shortcut. If you make a typo when entering numbers, you can simply swipe right on the calculator display to backspace. That was quite a game changer for me when I learned about that one. Another time saving feature I've learned about is how to use the find text feature in Safari on your iPhone. I use this feature often on my Mac. Command F or Control F in Windows, but you can do the same in Safari on your iPhone. There's actually two ways to access this feature. The first is to use the address bar after the website has loaded, type in the word you're looking for. In this example, I'm going to the 9to5 Mac website and searching for the word HomePod. So in the address bar, I just type in HomePod, then scroll to the bottom of the options that come up, and the last one should be on this page, and will even tell you how many matches it found. Just press this option and it will let you scroll through the results up or down with the arrow keys on the right. But if that doesn't work for you or it feels uncomfortable, you can also use Find on this page in the share sheet by pressing the button and scrolling right to the Find on this page icon. The only downside for doing it this way is that it doesn't show you how many results there are for your search. But these are great options when you're looking for something specific in a hurry on a website full of text. The next time saving secret I'd like to share with you is that Siri can help you do math including conversions. You can use Siri anytime to do almost any math or conversions you need, which can be a real time saver if you're adding up multiple numbers. This one's not such a secret, but it seems to slip most people's mind when they need it the most. So don't forget about it next time you need some math in a hurry or need to find out how many kilometers are in a mile. Another iPhone time saver that I think most people would find helpful is that you can charge your iPhone faster if you put it in either low power mode or airplane mode when charging. This is really handy when you're in a hurry. I talk about this more in detail in my video Charge Your iPhone Faster. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out and learn more. But long story short, if you have limited time to charge, use one of these modes to top up your battery faster. And lastly, I'd like to talk about some of the best time saving secrets or shortcuts you can use with the help of 3D Touch. I feel 3D Touch is really underrated because there are so many instances I find it to be both helpful and faster. First, let's talk about the power of 3D Touch within the Settings app. When you 3D Touch the Settings app, you get options to quickly connect to your Bluetooth devices, change your Wi-Fi network, and even access the battery settings. You also get the cellular data menu option as well, but I personally don't use that one often. But I do find using the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi options through 3D Touch to be a real time saver. A third party 3D Touch shortcut I use almost daily is with the Starbucks app. I mostly use it to order or reload my card, but it does cut out a step and help get to those functions faster. Another major 3D Touch shortcut I use a lot is with the camera app. It's great to get to the selfie mode fast. And some other ones I find useful as well are with the calendar app for adding events, the app store app for manually updating my apps, and lastly 3D touch to clear all notifications in notification center. There are so many out there, but the ones I just mentioned I find I use the most. Well everybody, those were some of what I think are the best iPhone secrets that can save you time. Are there any I missed? If so, let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.